Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and welcome to this vlog on Grave Time Manor. Now this is just Grave Time Manor, we're just driving up to here, you can see the fantastic views in Sussex. It's actually situated near West Hoathly and it sits in 1000 acres of wooded parklands and gardens and it's famous because it was uh, the, the gardens were created by William Robinson who was arguably one of England's greatest gardeners, you can see just there. It's now owned by the Pride of Britain hotels chain. Um, it's actually only about 12 miles from Gatwick Airport and 30 miles from the centre of London and we're just driving towards the Elizabethan Manor. It's from the 16th century and it's absolutely exquisite. The, uh, the quality of the hospitality, the fine wines and exquisite foods. Hi there everybody. So here I am, as I've already told you, in Grave Time Manor in West Sussex, very near East Grinstead. Um, and this is our bedroom. It's absolutely beautiful. If you sort of pan around, have a look at the bed, huge bed. I love um, their kind of attention to detail. You can see they've even put out a plum and a couple of apples, uh, which I, you don't often see. And they've got lovely facilities in here and <laughs> you've got your own biscuit jar <laughs> as well. A Nespresso machine and very, very lovely teas, which is lovely. And a fantastic little touch, I think, is that look, they've got, um, they've got Murray mints here. <laughs> And also look, isn't that sweet? They've given us a sort of a, a bit of a card and these lovely flowers here. Just sort of saying welcome basically, which is really pretty. So it's lovely. Um, I'll show you into the bathroom suite. Yeah, and that's our beautiful view. The grounds are absolutely fantastic, which I shall be showing you very shortly. So just in here is just the bathroom suite, you can just have a quick look in there. And here I'm just walking through the main hallway, so you can see the quintessential English country houses charm is just evident in the wood panelling and the open fires which is absolutely fantastic and I'm just walking out just to have a spot of lunch into um, one of their patios where they where they serve lunch and drinks and things like that you can see the absolutely fantastic sweeping countryside views um, so I'm just making my way towards my table my husband ordered dressed south coast crab with garlic mayonnaise and gem lettuce for lunch and I had seared wood pigeon breast served with bramble berries and sorrel. It was just fantastic. It was light and refreshing and just right and it was such a lovely hot day as you can see. And here I'm just taking you through to the truly enchanting gardens. Um, they have lovely winding pathways and abundant flower beds, all designed in the style of William Robinson, who was the father of the English Natural Garden and also a former owner of the estate. So let's start our adventure then. Um, we're just entering into the gardens here. So you can see this is the beautiful flower garden. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, they also have a croquet lawn, so, and they've got an azalea bank as well and my aim is to take you into the kitchen garden because obviously that's what my channel is all about healthy lifestyle recipes so it's all about healthy ingredients and, and natural organic food and things like that so that's why I'll be taking you to the kitchen garden so let's go so this is the kitchen garden so I'm just gonna show you a little bit around and show you sort of what they've got here so let's go you can see there's rhubarb up here. This is your artichoke there. Broad beans, aguadulce. Pea, they're peas apparently. Oh, this is strawberries too, aren't they? They are. Buddy Symphony, Cambridge favourite. There must be strawberry types. Ooh, 
purple sprouting broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower. Golden. Oh, it's beetroot paint. Beetroot Turn it. city. Turn it. Yeah. Oh, radish. And just on, just to show you another part of the garden, um, they have a lovely section with some beautiful flowering trees, and there's a magnolia tree there, which is absolutely stunning. And then on to the croquet lawn. So as you can see, it's very, very well kept, beautiful. So we decided to have a round of croquet. Right, there he goes. <laughs> oh dear. So you can see my aim, as you can see, my aim is really, really on target. <laughs> Close. and on to dinner so we're just in the bar here and these are amuse bouches so that's cheese bread there mushroom orangini and mackerel pate very delightful uh, the staff are absolutely excellent very well trained so this is the beautiful dining room where we're having a 10 course taster menu so i'll show you what that's like First course was confit, hen's yolk, crisp brassicas and marinated root vegetables. The second one was hand-dived Orkney scallops with heritage carrots, cardamom yoghurt and spiced carrot cake. Now, my husband isn't a huge fan of carrots, so what he's doing here is he's moving the carrots onto my plate so I can eat his carrots. <laughs> and then the third course was balatine of foie gras with some Madeira jelly, almond brioche and caramelised orange. This was absolutely delightful. Just the way that all the flavours and textures and tastes combine. Now the head chef is George Blogg who was appointed as new chef in 2014. And we finished the starters now, so on to the mains. The first main is South Coast Lemon Sole, served with saffron quinoa, cauliflower textures, ras el hanout, flaked almond and pomegranate. It was absolutely fantastic. The quinoa was just really crunchy, just really right. And it was just really refreshing with the pomegranate and the lemon sole. And then on to my second serving of pigeon for the day. This is carved crown and faggot of squab pigeon with smoked mashed potato, baby beetroot, fennel and anise jus. It was absolutely delightful, very sort of gamey, very, very rich, but the mash and the beetroot really complemented it all. This is caramelized white chocolate mousse with apple sorbet. And the second pudding was forced rhubarb souffle, but it was too dark to film. And then to finish off our meal, we had uh, petit fours and this lovely coffee. So I hope that you've enjoyed this vlog and learnt lots about Grave Tithe Manor. Bye. <laughs>